everyone, my name is Bridget. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am in front of my mystery snail tank because I thought it would be fun to show you guys how to tell the gender of them. Over the last few months, I have developed quite an obsession with mystery snails. I think everything about them is so fascinating. When you have an animal like that that you find so much interest in, you want to know as much about them as you can. And one of the questions that I had was, how do you tell the gender? So when I was looking online to try and answer that question, I found a lot of different information and a lot of varying opinions. So I decided to take the information that I had and gather it with my own information of what I've seen and observed of my own mystery snails and put it together for a solid answer with this video. I don't think there are very many videos on the internet right now that showcase how to tell the gender of a mystery snail. I have seen a couple, but not to throw shade, uh, they're incorrect. So I thought that I would do this video. One of the things that I've noticed when people talk about telling the gender of a mystery snail is they will refer to the mystery snail's siphon, which is what they breathe out of as being a male organ. People seem to believe that as soon as that little thing sticks out, that means that that is their male organ and that that is a male. But if you get mystery snails and you see a male organ stick out, you're gonna believe that every single one of your mystery snails is male, when in all reality, that is what they breathe from. That is their breathing tube that they stretch up to the surface of the water and you will see them kind of pump their bodies like this in order to breathe that air. Another thing that I have seen is to the right of their shell, they have this little pocket there. And on that side of the shell is where the male organ is located. However, right there in the front where you can see when they're just cruising along in their aquarium, you'll see this little thing that's kind of sticking out from underneath of their shell and a lot of people believe that that is the male organ but that is actually where they poop that is basically where they dump all of their waste from so that is not at all the male organ telling the gender of these guys is pretty tricky you have to take them out of the water and you have to make them move their bodies out of their shell a little bit to be able to see back behind their neck. So in order to do this, you have to remove them out of the aquarium, as I said, and you have to hold them upright. You have to be completely still because you will startle them. And as they are held upright, they believe that they need to fix themselves. And it sounds kind of cruel, but it's really not that bad. They try to right themselves up by pulling their bodies out of their shell and kind of twirling around a little bit and seeing if they can find something that they can grip onto with their foot. And when they do that, you have to look very closely and very quickly to look behind their head to see if their sexual organ is there or not. If you're looking straight onto them, you will see on their left side over here, they have an opening that looks kind of like a little crevice, a little hole. That is their lung sac. And just to the right of it is another opening and this is where that sexual organ is gonna be located. So in females, they will just have the gaping hole. It will look like two openings where you have the lung sac here and the other area, I don't really know what to refer to it as, over here with nothing in the way. But a male, his penis sheath will be right there in the front blocking that second hole. And I'll show you exactly what I mean in just a moment. I do have both of them on video. I have a male to show you and I have a female to show you. Now, when sexing your mystery snails, I do not recommend keeping them out of the water for a very long period of time. I did this in 10 minute intervals. So if the snail had not come out just yet and it had been a 10 minute window, then I put them back in the aquarium to give them a little bit of a break and get them back in the water. And then later on after they've had a minute to calm down, I removed them again and tried. Now, as I mentioned, I have three mystery snails. I have one male and I have two females. One of my females I actually thought was a male, but as recording this video, I discovered that she is in fact a female. My other female is one of those kinds of snails that's very shy and doesn't like a lot of movement. So I tried in 10 minute intervals about seven times. It took me over an hour and she still did not want to come out of her shell for me, so I don't have an actual video footage of her, but I will throw a photo up as I'm going along. So yeah, a lot of people believe that the siphon is the male organ, and a lot of people believe that the poop shoot is the male organ, but I'm gonna show you exactly what the male organ looks like. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get into those videos. All right, so I'm gonna start with Blue. He is my oldest mystery snail, and he is confirmed male. I know that because I've checked 
helped him several times, but I've also seen him violate his other tank mates quite a few times with his little thingy. I don't have that to show you in a video, but <laughs> I have seen it for myself. It's quite disturbing. This little sped up vibrating that you're seeing, that's him breathing. His siphon is there to the right and he's gonna take in that natural air that comes from just being out of the water and breathe in as much as he can. All right, and here he goes. He's starting to push his way out so I can see behind his head and boom. There you can see his lung sac to the right and you can see that little white area to the left. That is his penis sheath. Here's another look blocking that gill area. And here is a photo of it blown up nicely so you can see. Then here I'm going to do ink, which is my other blue mystery snail that I thought was a male, but turns out she is a female and you'll see in just a moment, she gave me quite a little shock that also determined for sure she is a female. So here you go. After a few minutes, she starts to come out a little bit and writhe around trying to write herself and boom, you can see her lung sac there to the right and to the left, there is no penis sheath. We'll go ahead and get another look. Boom, two open openings, no penis sheath. Here's that photo blown up so you can see there is nothing blocking that gill area. And if you didn't notice, she actually left me a nice little egg as she was moving around. You may have seen this little tiny clear gooey looking thing. I did not expect that at all. I don't know how it happened. I don't know why it happened, but she left me an egg. Another confirmation that she is female. And my third mystery snail is an ivory mystery snail named Quill. And as I said, she did not cooperate with me. So I have this photo here taken on the day that I actually got her. She was the tiniest little baby, literally the size of a dime. And as you can see in this photo, she has her lung sac there to the right and to the left. She has that gill opening area with no penis sheath. She is confirmed female. And just one more final look at these three guys. You can see there is blue to the far left. He has got his lung area and his gill area is covered by his penis sheath. Ink is there in the center and she has her lung area and her open gill area, nothing blocking it. And then of course, little quill with her lung area open and her gill area open as well, nothing blocking. One final way that people like to determine the gender of their mystery snail, it's not always that obvious, but I thought I would share it anyways. Some people like to determine the gender based on the shell. So as you can see in this first photo, which I took from Google again, it shows that a male mystery snail shell has a little bit of a point to it. It kind of curves outward a little bit and the female shell just kind of stays a little bit straighter. So in this first photo that I have, this is blue. As you can see, he's got that little divot there in his shell where it kind of protrudes out a little bit and has that little bit of curve there to the side. Then my final two photos, those are ink and quill, and those are both females. As you can see, there is no protruding of the shell. There's no divot. It just kind of goes in a nice, very subtle curve, but it's mostly straight. So I don't love to use this method because it's not exactly fully accurate, but I think it could be used. And looking at it this way, knowing that blue is a male, knowing that ink and quill are both females, I do see the difference in their shells and I think that's kind of interesting. So if you want to check the gender of your mystery snail this way, this is also a good way to do it. And that is all I have for mystery snail sexing. Well, all right guys, that's all I have for you today, showing you how to tell the gender of your mystery snail. I hope that this was informative and that you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button on your way out. I really appreciate it. Also hit that notification bell so you can know when I upload next and I will see you in my next video. Bye.